good day, uh, Dr. Bob Flower, and this is the Gilchrist Institute International TV Show uh, for Thursday, uh, July 6th, 2017. Okay, we're going to devote most of the show to uh, the Master Pattern Report uh, because it appears that uh, things are about to uh, go sideways and up and down all at the same time. Uh, generally speaking, uh, in my over 55 year career in this area, uh, when you see markets like this, economic markets, that's stock markets and finance and uh, real estate and business, uh, the way that they're going, uh, in as chaotic a sense as they are, uh, there, there, there's something amiss here. Uh, in some areas, things are great. In other areas, they're okay, seeming to get better. But underlying, there is definitely a movement here that needs to be addressed. And um, it, it's, it's, it's making me a little nervous because the patterns are fluctuating like crazy. I, I, I've been doing this, well, this, the pattern research I've been doing for like 30 years, not more. But the past 10 years, um, you know, in a clinical sense, an analytical sense, um, I, I've never seen the patterns jumping around the way they are right now. It's almost like it's a daily thing. Um, and where are we today, where are we tomorrow? You know, the market has been down for the past week and a half, but yet we're at all-time highs. You know, hello. Uh, and uh, there are some definitely definite positive changes. Uh, for instance, the, the Dodd-Frank uh, has been um, repealed almost, it's almost completed. Um, and that, that's going to be a very good thing for, uh, for real estate and for banks. Uh, but then again, uh, it's, it's going to be uh, leading us down another path uh, that was the very reason why Dodd-Frank was created. And that is, you know, a very open and uncontrolled uh, economic society. Uh, you know, with the larger banks and insurance companies. So there's, there's something here that I think we need to be uh, very, very careful for. We still think that we're going to see this, these highs continue through the summer uh, uh, into, into September, uh, mid, perhaps mid-September. Um, and then, then we're, we're, we're pulling all, all plugs out. We, we, we think that there will be um, something at least one thing, if not several things, uh, that will cause uh, market disruptions. Now that doesn't mean that they're going to lose their job. Uh, uh, it, it could, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't think so. I, I think what you're going to see that's going to be extremely negative is with um, governments. For instance, uh, the state of Connecticut almost lost 4,000 uh, employees uh, if it wasn't for a, um, uh, an agreement, a, 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 a project that was um, secured. Now, that could happen. It could happen. Uh, it certainly looks like it's going to happen in places like uh, Illinois and, and Iowa and uh, Rhode Island and uh, uh, who knows, perhaps in, the, in, um, in California as well. Uh, so there may be this huge, um, massive change in um, you know government services, so, so to speak, uh, which could could very well uh, impact uh, a lot of people and um, and uh, uh, underscore economies. At the same time, we're seeing these changes in um, in business. You know, for instance, the retail business. We we discussed this before. 
you know, I mean, Amazon is practically, uh, you know, built a, built a room onto your house. I mean, you know, they, they're, they're providing it, anything and everything to anybody and they're doing it very efficiently. Retailers are getting slaughtered, especially your larger ones, uh, because they're taking them right out of the picture. And while they're getting hit, the real estate market is getting pummeled with it in that area because there's so much office space and retail space available uh, that now the prices are dropping precipitously. I mean, you know, there was a point maybe seven, eight, nine years ago where, for instance, office space in the New York uh, surrounding community, not the city, but the surrounding communities, was at $30, $35 a foot. Now you're lucky if you can get 25 and, and And at that, that's a struggle. Most places are between twenty and twenty-two dollars a square foot for for office space, and, and retail is, is getting uh, even worse. Okay, so uh, what's the point? What what what's going on here? Well, uh, what's going on here is um, complete chaos. You know, we started this whole program uh, just about ten years ago on the premise that the uh, law and order in this country is is going to and will be breaking down, and it has. And it's uh, f f from the president on down. So, uh, uh, and, and people are, are not respecting uh, given principles, facts, right? Uh, they're just making it up as, as they go along. Whatever, whatever it takes is, 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 is the modern day uh, economic philosophy. And that's not good enough. That's not good enough. You gotta, you gotta follow laws. You gotta follow rules, because eventually uh, they'll turn on you, and you'll pay a price. Uh, and if you think that you're going to be the first guy out instead of the last guy out, well, you, you may or may not be. Okay. So, um, where does that lead us? Well, it leads us to where, uh, although our predictions are still um, quite valid. Um, we have employed a, uh, a new system, which um, I'm not going to tell you about, and I'm not going to give you any percentages. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you, and we'll do this uh, uh, according to uh, a format. And the format's going to be this. On my website, I will have a compartment which will deal with S and P uh, predictions, and this will be um, a weekly uh, and almost a daily thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on that website two to three times a week, and we will, we will list the dates. The, there'll be S and P. Uh, the, the, there will not be any other market, and then we'll make the call as to what direction it's going to go. Uh, and then we'll have we'll have a scorecard. Now, uh, here's the only thing I ask you to do. Uh, in order to access that, I want you to sign in. I, I want to know more about you, so that you can you can uh, then be part of this entire uh, experiment. Okay. Uh, so you go to the website, we'll have this compartment, we'll show this, and you, we want you to, to sign in, all right? Uh, we will start that uh, next week, if not sooner, and uh, we'll, we'll have something arranged for you. Um, as soon as my staff gets the, the novel working, uh, we, will, uh, we, we will have that uh, in effect. And uh, I think you're going, I think you're going to see something very interesting uh, develop along those lines because uh, we've been doing very well in actual trading. This is real life trading. Okay, so um, watch out for that. Like I said, go to the Dr. Bob website, and uh, and we'll we'll have something there uh, for you. Okay. Um, what, what I uh, want you to do is, those of you who, um, two, two things, uh, 
Let's see, next week is the, the 13th. So I am going to have a, a special guest who is going to be either a mortgage expert or a um, the 13th or, or is it the 14th? 13th? 14th? All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have one of my people check and give me an indication that there's a problem with the 13th. But I'm going to have a mortgage finance expert and uh, the following week we will have a, a real property tax consultant okay and uh, for those of you who own property and think that your taxes are too high we're going to go through a whole thing with that and then on the I think it's the, the 29th we have a, a very uh, special 27th we have a very special guest okay now uh, last week uh, there was a caller who called in just at the end of the show before we had a chance to get on and the question that they had was actually it wasn't a question it was an issue and the issue that they had was um, this this whole matter on naming uh, public uh, edifices such as the Tappan Zee Bridge, which is now going to be called the Mario Cuomo uh, Bridge and not the Malcolm Wilson Bridge. Um, and the caller stated that, you know, they were, they thought it was, it was improper and, and not in, in a league with, um, uh, with Americanism that we should be naming it after these politicians and that there are people and causes such as 9-11 uh, that should be given more recognition you know um, the greatest generation you know, and people of this ilk that have done far more in, in in developing the character of this country than any politician with the exception maybe of of the, the, the founders um, so uh, we had a discussion uh, afterwards, and uh, our guest said, well, you know, I'm, I'm in favor. And the reason why I'm in favor is because, uh, because we were able to make a deal with uh, uh, Governor Cuomo. Well, that might be a good reason, and it might be a good cause, but um, uh, uh, the, the, the argument was that to deify public officials um, is, is as bad as breaking the law because there are other laws that are more prevalent and more dominating than um, the laws made up by um, the material govern governors and governance um, prospects and, and uh, those who are in control, administer, administrators and whatnot, um, shouldn't be idealized at all. Um, and that they're, they're just plain, simple folk who contribute more, who are more American and more dedicated to task um, than any of those individuals. Um, and we'll continue to, to, to discuss this and put their feet to the fire. I'd like to have a couple of more politicians on and I'm there. We have our, our feelers out. We think we're going to have, uh, we know we're going to have one and perhaps two more before, uh, uh, before the end of the summer. And uh, we'd love to get your feedback on putting their feet to the fire on, on different issues. Okay, so uh, we may do a little special two-minute um, uh, buzz on on this uh, S&P thing for you. We'll see. Um, we'll see what um, uh, how to best structure that, and then you can uh, you can tell us from there uh, what you think and comment on it, and uh, perhaps even follow it. Uh, but I, I do I do want to know who it is that uh, uh, that's going to be following this and comment comments from those individuals. Okay, 
So that is going to be our show for today and our European cousins who have been watching this, uh, they get the benefit of the time lapse, time difference. You know, there uh, we have uh, people in Italy, England, uh, Greece, uh, uh, France, and, and some of the uh, and, and Sweden, um, and, and one in Greenland, uh, who uh, really appreciate this because it's right at eight nine o'clock their time. So uh, in the evening. That's one of the reasons why we have an afternoon show. But in any event, uh, I thank you. I hope you had a great 4th of July. And we will see you uh, next week. I'm not sure of the date. But uh, we will give you, we will send out notices to all of you on um, what's going on. Okay? Thank you very much. And uh, have a good one. And remember, of course. Reality is not what it seems. <laughs>